That is right, today, LS3 Defender, told you it wouldn't be long. We're gonna fill this general vicinity up. As promised, the shipping was short this time around, but we have our radiator, we have our AC condenser, transmission cooler, power steering cooler, and some brake lines, but we won't tackle that today. So got this cute little guy for the power steering. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna get this stuff out of the way because we're not doing brake lines today. All right, so my plan going into this was Radiator sitting there, AC condenser sitting something like that. Then I got a couple matchy matchy coolers, small one for power steering, larger one for transmission, and my thoughts were something like that. Those two sitting there should look like they belong. Even though it'll be covered by a grill, you'll see some of them, so I want it to look nice. Now, since the last time we talked on the radiator, I did call a bit of an audible. We're gonna chop this guy up. Originally when we talked, we were gonna do the upper over here, lower down there, but I went ahead and called an audible, which those of you who watch the channel know that happens fairly often, but I decided I want both the inlet and the outlet on the same side, so we're gonna convert this guy to a dual pass. And in order to do that, our plan of attack here is to cut this lower one off, sand it smooth, cap that, fill it, smooth it out, Never know. Cut a hole over here, weld that lower one back on. And then for the dual pass aspect, we need to slice this in here and put a divider plate. That way coolant comes in, has to travel on this top part of the core and work its way down and come back over here and out. It ups the pressure a little bit, but it also makes the coolant travel twice as long through the radiator to keep that 6.2 liter V8 at bay. Might have been easier to buy one, but I like this size and I like the challenge. Time to make a mess now, which is unfortunate because we just did some organization. Got that guy all knocked down. We'll cut a disc, weld it. Flatten it all back out. Over here, we're gonna ditch this lower bung. That guy's gonna go somewhere in that vicinity. And then we gotta measure out where we're gonna cut our slot to put our divider. Roughly halfway might be a good point. Slumming it today with a Sharpie. Left all the Milwaukee ink saws in the house. Got this guy all cleaned up and this guy ready to go. You can see we got a little bit of a lip there and that guy's gonna overhang the edge just a touch, but that's how the radiator's gonna look. I think that guy is the ticket. We'll trace that out, get that ready to weld in. Went inside and grabbed one of the good ones. We got that all dialed in. Now it's just time to buzz it all together. If you didn't catch it in the video, we notched the divider plate in so that it would be flush up against the core itself inside there, keeping the upper and lower separated. <laughs> We'll flatten that guy out soon to make it disappear. There we go, like it was never there. Our lower one is in place and fit up nicely. Got our divider in there. So coolant in, 
across, down, across. Now that we got that out of the way, we can actually start mounting the radiator. All that work to finally start working. We're gonna put some pegs upper and lower. I guess that's upper. This is lower directions. Got this chunk of aluminum here. That should work nicely. All right, so we're gonna get the lower part in first. We're gonna set something like this should work nicely. So to make it simple, we are just going to find out that distance, which is 19 inches, and we'll center it on the radiator. Pretty, pretty high tech. did that to find our center, that's where the peg will go. So we got the pegs into the rubber here and everything all secure. We'll probably remake a new top plate that goes from fender to fender or wing to wing. Depending on what end of the world you're in. And that'll probably dive just a touch lower along those guys and we'll snip those off. But we will have this same rubber mount and I'm going to drill and tap that and run a bolt on top and that'll keep it nice and secure and it's already in place doing well and it looks like we will have plenty of room to run the fans like i was talking about before that guy being a dual pass should keep this 6.2 liter ls3 in check now we just need to figure out the rest of the coolers so the condenser will probably go something like this i should get the hood latch bolted in place to make sure we have clearance for that. So that guy's probably gonna tuck down here. Then we're just on to my next dilemma. I'm undecided which cooler is gonna go on which side. I'm gonna bang it off stuff because that's what I do. The transmission cooler lines come out of the transmission on the driver's side or the left-hand side. And the power steering lines will probably be on that side as well. So I don't know which ones I wanna snake around back. I'm kind of thinking that this will be the ticket. We'll keep them lined up with the radiator and even height wise on both sides. We'll probably do the transmission on the right hand side because we'll have more room to loop lines wherever we need to go. And then the power steering can be nice and short. And I do love the look of these matching coolers. I think that's gonna be pretty trick. But just got a call from Freight Driver and we have a special delivery to attend to. Apologize, it is raining, no control over that. Uninsulated tin roof, it's gonna be loud. But this thing is quite large. Let's see what we got going on in here. I'm not quite sure where they found that piece of wood. That's interesting. If there's one thing I just love in life, it is nails. So that guy is a big behemoth. 
I mean, I knew the measurements, but seeing it in person, it is quite large. Gonna be interesting getting 500 pounds hung 13 feet in the air, but we'll figure it out like we always do. We also got the rest of the trench done and got our water line in along with the electrical cable piped right through that conduit we buried. That is where we're gonna leave this guy. We'll be back getting the rest of the coolers on here shortly. Appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you subscribing and we'll catch you on the next one.